Now, I think we all have an idea of what resilience is. You know, if I get a cold, I'm going to recover. If I, if I cut myself, that wound is going to heal. So what we're really looking for is um, an understanding of these processes. My lab is interested in understanding how the placenta has evolved to defend the fetus from viral infections and how viruses like Zika virus might bypass that barrier to cause fetal disease. What we really lack is a fundamental understanding of how the placenta is such a good barrier. It doesn't really matter whether we're talking about cancer or neurodegeneration. We're all really trying to do the same basic kind of thing, which is tap into this aspect of resilience. Basic science is always evolving and changing. There are new methodologies, there are new strategies. What's interesting and I think important about basic science is that there are discoveries that are made in the fish, the fly, in yeast cells, in bacteria that can have implications that can absolutely transform the um, human health. Carolyn's work is some of the leading work in the, in the world in understanding, well, what is it that the immune system does to kind of trigger this resistance so that we are tolerant to the, the, the baby that's, de that's developing. So one of the really fundamental things that, that we've actually found is that unlike any other cell in, in the human body, human placental trophoblasts, which are the cells that comprise the placenta, actually constitutively release one of the most potent antiviral molecules uh, known in biology, and that's something called interferon. Our ultimate goal really is understanding what makes those cells so special. How do they handle the sort of adverse events that might happen and really harness that in order to develop novel anti-therapeutics, antivirals, to bolster those de defenses really all throughout pregnancy. So we're looking at the recruitment of the, of the next wave of brilliant scientists, of um, out of the box, really creative thinkers. Having the ability to have philanthropic dollars is really essential to a, to a level one institution like ours. What's exciting about philanthropy and philanthropic dollars is it allows you to think differently. You can do things that you wouldn't have had a chance of getting federal funding to do. We obviously need financial support, some of which, of course, we can get through you know, the, the government or different foundations. But oftentimes, that, that kind of research is difficult to, to actually uh, get supported. And that's because you're developing something new. You're really pushing the edge of what currently exists. But there are many examples of how basic research is really going to be a driver that's going to transform biomedical uh, research, but transform health as well.